Uh, hello, sir. This is uh, David Rhodes, and I'm here with Bishop Thomas from Ghana. Uh, would you please introduce yourself? I'm Bishop Thomas Opoti from Ghana. Okay, and um, what do you uh, have going on over in Ghana? What do you do over there? I'm a church planter and the general secretary of the early apostolic reform church. Okay. Now we were uh, just a little while ago, we were up at the seminary. Uh, can you tell us about your education and your, your voyage and your education pursuits? Yes. Um, I have, um, I did my first degree, which uh, was a bachelor of science. And then I did my Master of Divinity and then a Master of Theology degree. And later on, I went on to do my Doctor of Ministry degree. Wow. That's pretty awesome. So you have a doctorate degree. Yes. Woo, that's pretty awesome. Um, well, I'm so glad that you came and uh, that hooked up with me. Uh, first met um, uh, Bishop Thomas a couple of years ago, a few years back now, uh, through uh, Dr. Clifton Rhodes Jr. Uh, Bishop Thomas is a son yes. of Dr. Rhodes and the Messiah Ministry. Uh, do you have any thoughts you'd like to give us regarding um, Dr. Rhodes? The first time I met Dr. Rose, you know, was in this office when um, I came over to the U.S. to do my Master of Theology. Mm. And he was one of those pastors who took me in with open arms. He met me for the first time and he was, let me say, the first person to ever look at me in the eye and call me son. Mm. when he was giving me an instruction one time in the church. Wow. And since then, that father-son relationship wow. has been there. That's you awesome. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Rhodes has a way of making people feel so welcome and comfortable, and he just has a way to love on people. He has a way of bringing light, you know, into our lives. He has a way of, you know, <laughs> making you smile and, you know, put so many things behind you. you know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I remember one time uh, he had, uh, I had to go and confess some, some things to him. And I was really embarrassed, man. I, but I had to do it <laughs> because my heart was so heavy. I had to go talk to him about it. And, um, and when I left out of there, I had got a whipping and didn't even know it, man. I was, we were smiling and laughing yes. and joking and That's talking. That's Pastor Rose for you. Yeah, man. I felt That's like Pastor I could. Pastor Rose for you. Yeah. Felt like I could fly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, we are here. Uh, we are here at uh, Barnes and Nobles here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And we came just to sit down uh, and fellowship. And, but we noticed, we noticed some signs. Uh, the sign says self-transformation, self-transformation. Now, what I would like to do is highlight a couple of the books that we saw. Uh, like this book says, The Art of Witch. Um, this book down here says... The Secret Language of Serpents. Um, so, Good Witch, Outside Charm Circle, Outside Charm Circle, Magical Spell Book. This looks like it's for children. Magical Spell Book, Hedge Witch Book of Days. Wow. Wow. So this is 
Um, see here, you got just a flat out skull on this one here. This is how the world suggests that you transform yourself. If you want transformation, this is where you go for transformation. What are your thoughts, Bishop? First, you know, I want to say that the body of Christ, leaders in the church, preachers, teachers of the gospel, mm -hmm. we have so much work to do. Mm. We have so much work to do because um, when in the whole library you have a session on self-transformation and there is no single book about Christ. Mm. You know, and in the world of pain, in the world of misery, in the world where people wake up, like I said earlier, every day and they don't even know what they're waking up into mm. and you walk into a library and you know and you need a book to read and there is a session that guides you or well, now you can transform yourself and the kind of books you have there you know are books on witchcraft mm. books on now you can cast spells on people and all that you know mm. The question is where, where is this, you know, world, you know, taking us, mm. you know, and it, I am not surprised when we have, you know, 18 year olds, 19 year olds, you know, 20 year, 21, you know, committing suicide. Yeah. You know, because when you choose such a path. Yeah. There is only one way, one way it's going to end. Mm. And that's, you know, you either commit suicide because there is no other way to, you know, to bring your misery to an end. Mm. You know, I love it when the Apostle Paul said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, we, we have to find a way to lead people to Christ and not just into our churches. Mm. We have to find a way to lead people to look at Christ and not just be looking at pastors, you know. And I think, you know, these are some of the things, you know, we should be worried about in the times that we are in, brother. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, it, it really amazed me. I didn't think of it like, like that, like you're putting it, but yeah, I, it's absolutely correct. There are no books about Christ in the self-transformation section. And, and I see your point that when, when you have no hope and there's no end, there's no light at the end, then all you're left with is your pain and your misery. There's no real solution. Wow, the solution is dark. The solution that they're proposing through the self-transformation is darkness. Yes, you know, and then, you know, brother, some of us, you know, in Africa, mm -hmm. you know, well, you know, we are coming from countries with multiple religions, you know, you know, we look at a country like this, the U.S., you know, as a God-fearing country, a country that, you know, is built on Christian principles and all that. And it's amazing, you know, where things are, you know, headed in a country like this. It's, 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 it's truly amazing. Some of the best preachers you can find in this world are coming from this country. The best teachers of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And yet there is still so much more to be done. So mm. much more to be done. Yeah. Yeah. The laborers are few. Yes. The harvest is plentiful. Yeah. Wow. We, we, I believe 
we move into that area where, like in the Old Testament, in every household, mm -hmm. the man of that house, the woman of that house, mm -hmm. should see himself or herself as a pastor mm -hmm. and begin to pastor your family. Pastor your family. Yeah. Yes, that's the Old Testament practice. And everybody must assume that role. Yes. You know. You, you don't just have to wait until Sunday to see a pastor. Sir. You have to be the pastor of your family, that house. Sir. From Monday to the next Monday. Yeah. Yeah. You know, of yeah. Be the priest. Be the priest of your house. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. That's yeah. the word. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's going to start with consecrating oneself. Yeah, and it, it has to do more with what I said earlier, you know, about people putting their trust in pastors. And, uh, because the moment we begin to take, you know, we, we begin to put on such a mind, you know, all those things we have to do, you know, we, you know, we renege on them. Yeah, you know, by assuming no, this is the work of the pastor, this is the work of no, mm. be the priest of your family. That is where we are now. Yeah, everybody, every man of the house, every woman of the house, you are a priest. You are now. a priest, yes, you are a priest. Take on the responsibility, yes. It's not just the pastor that we go see on Sunday, no, that's not enough. That's not enough. We got to be the priest in our household on a daily basis. Every day. Mm. Every day. We have to keep watch. Because, you know, what I'm thinking about, Bishop, is we're, we are at a library. We are at the bookstore. Yeah. But now, you know, and you, talk, you talked about the suicide with the teenagers. Very rarely we're going to see a teenager at the bookstore, I don't think. The masses of the teenagers aren't coming here. So what I'm trying to get to is the media is giving the same message. Yes. It's the same message. Yes. The bookstore is just giving us a microcosm yes. of what's really going on That's in the right. world. Because every book we have here, surely, you know, you can, you can get it on the net. You can get it on and the net. I believe that if somebody should, you know, go to Google and, you know, maybe type something like self-transformation. Yeah. Some of these books are likely to pop up. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, you know, when you, when you start talking about your social media, Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, um, Snapchat, when you're looking at all this that's going on, really the message is, the message is darkness. Yes. It's, there's no hope. There's a few, you know, preachers, pastors, ministers that are trying to put light out in the social media, but really, it's all darkness. It's, 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 it's so serious. Now, in your country, I mean, would you see such a stance like this um, in the libraries or in the bookstores? Let me say 70% of the books in our libraries are from this part of the world. Oh. So can you imagine what they're shipping down to us? You, you oh. Understand? Yes. Oh. So your your books are going to be from a Western civil culture? 70% of them. 70% of them. Wow. Okay, let's stop right there for a minute. Yes, it's wow. So what are you looking at, Pastor? We got books here on astrology. Zodiac. Tarot, Predilums, Tarot,
book and card set. <laughs> wow. That says a lot right there. Jeez. I never heard of that term before. E I T C H craft. Beach craft. How you can become a beach? Oh, jeez. Whoa. That's pretty amazing. See this book right here? Mm -hmm. Love Spurs. Mm -hmm. You know what that's about? Yeah. You don't have to work your way up for people to love you. You just cast a spell on them and they love you. You know, very yeah. yeah. mm. I've seen that a lot in, you know, in my country. Yeah. I've seen people, you know. Just cast spells. Cast spells on people. And you see very, very intelligent, beautiful young ladies following nobodies. And sometimes you ask yourself, where did this lady meet this guy from? You know. Wow. And you can you can have a situation where even the whole family of that lady, you know, is against the union, you know. And uh -huh. people seem to ask, you know, what do you find good in this person? And the person still says, No. Don't know. I, I still want to struggle with him and you know right. you know that's when you know people cast you know it's not love mm. you know it's not like people do all these kinds of things to people you know mm. cast a spell cast a spell whole family is against them what do you see in this person and you're going to fight yeah. Um, yeah. to be with the person yeah, and don't even know why you're with them you follow foolishly a spell, you know, when a spell is cast on you. Wow. Your senses, you know, are no longer functional. You are under a spell. Mm. Wow. And, you know, I've seen cases where ladies, you know, all their earnings, you know, they just lavish it on some of these guys. Because mm. of the kind of spell that has been cast on them. Wow. And such people should, you know. I, you know, I, I, I have led deliverance for, you know, a couple of women like that before uh -huh. to free them from the spell. Mm. Yes, to free them from the spell. Wow. How do you develop that type of training? Training to deliver them there's that's just from the holy spirit it's yes it's the gift it's a gift it's a, it's a gift, it's from, a the gift holy from the holy spirit there is no way darkness can stand light mm. no way mm. no matter how strong that darkness is mm. it says my light shines the light shines in the darkness mm. and the darkness comprehend it not wow Wow. A lot of people are working like this. A lot of people. Well, how did you recognize you had this gift? I mean, it seemed like you had we had to cultivate it, or somebody would have to recognize it. Cultivate. The devil can hide everything, but there are things he cannot hide from the believer, and there are things the enemy cannot hide from gifted men of God. Mm. You know. God, you know, will some way, somehow reveal it. No matter where the enemy keeps it, it will come to light. It will come to yes. light. Wow. Jesus defeated him on the cross. And the spirit with which Christ rose from the dead resides in us. Yeah. And we will keep winning. We will keep defeating him. He has no power over us. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Brother. Praise God. Praise God.